peace and prosperity this is Asaya mystic coming to you with another message to help you free your heart and soul right now oh my gosh my channel is like doing really really well thank you thank you thank you thank you to all my subscribers people who have subscribed who have hit the notification bell <laughs> and watch my videos and even binge watch my videos because I am like this close to monetizing my channel and I am really really excited to see the growth that has happened um, throughout my YouTube channel years which has been about three years I've been on YouTube in the beginning I was a little blotchy um, and really I came on with the intention to share my spiritual knowledge to share my love for astrology to share my love for the cosmos to just share 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 myself and uh, talk about all the things that I always felt like I could not talk to, talk about with people who are within my vicinity and this these the experiences that I've had I would say like like four years ago up until now and you know I started my channel I think I started my channel four years ago not three but from that point until now there's been so many things so many experiences that have let me know that I am a, here to be a leader and help people through what I know and what I have accumulated the, ex the way I can put together information and experiences and just kind of extract the, the rawest and most purest truth. And in those experiences, I've had a lot of people challenge me, challenge my worth, challenge, you know, challenge me. And that those challenges have really sparked a fire inside of me that has made me so 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 passionate about the things I have to share so when people come on and subscribe and you know give me comments of affirmation and love and support and just really in good spirits that just really warms my heart and I'm I just feel I feel I feel love I feel I feel good so thank you guys and I'm gonna keep posting I'm gonna I'm gonna keep bringing you guys um, you know really really good juicy information and just just my own love and my own warmth and my own good vibes and good energy so with that being said I'm gonna get into this video peace and prosperity okay you guys so this video today is going to be about the dark side of libra and libra energy and libra's dark side is that of imbalance but it shows up and it reveals itself through this habit of people pleasing so understand that the sign of libra People think that Libra is a sign of doing everything for others and making others the center of your attention. And basically, other people are like supposed to be everything that you focus on and, and your number one attention. Um, and that's not true at all. So, Libra energy is... It has nothing to do with people pleasing and this is the dark side of libra energy feeling like you need to people please so the difference between a balanced and healthy libra energy and uh the dark side of libra is the balanced libra energy knows that everything is not about other people before you even get to Libra, the opposite of Libra is Aries. And Aries I did, has connected to the self. Aries has nothing to do with other people. It's all about being in sync with the self and being in tune with the self and knowing the self and identifying the self. So once you get to Libra, now 
you take the self that you have identified and you bring that to other people so Aries you're not even dealing with other people you're just dealing with the self-identification with Libra you're you know yourself you've identified yourself and now you're learning how to bring yourself to others it has nothing to do with focusing on other people and what they need and it's all about other people no that's the dark side of Libra that's how you get into the dark energy of Libra and the dark energy of Libra is a people pleaser is a person that literally instead of bringing themselves to others and knowing how to balance the self and other people what the dark side of Libra will do is they will make other people the center of themselves you get what I'm saying and then they lose themselves within this uh, by doing that they lose themselves by doing that so this is how Libras get into situations where they're like oh I don't know what I want I don't know what decision to make I don't know I don't know I don't know and that's because literally everybody's decisions everybody else has basically oh my gosh really Libra so everybody else basically takes up and takes over the energy of this sign so if you are a people pleaser okay if you put others first and you are always thinking about others and you don't even know yourself you don't even know what you really want actually you don't even care about what you really want because other people's wants are like so important right they're so important to the like to the point where you feel like if you don't prioritize their wants you won't have anybody around you like basically if you don't succumb to like social standards and what other people expect of you you're like gonna be this lonely isolated person with no partner with no friends like nobody's gonna like you and that's this is like the one of the major dark sides of Libra energy so when we're dealing with Venus in this aspect we're also dealing with feminine energy and I did a previous video on Venus and how her energy is currently being like distorted the energy of Venus in relationship to the dark side of the scales and being in balance uh, has a lot to do with feminine energy and the present state of feminine energy on the planet and um i don't know if you guys can probably tell that my lip is swollen like right here so please don't think it's weird i literally ran into i ran into the wall earlier but it was like the corner of the wall so yeah don't ask i don't know how that happened either but i ran into it and now my lip is swollen so um yeah so in relationship to venus and this feminine energy the energy of the planet currently is in relationship to this feminine energy is in a state of it, it's out of balance it's like distorted like venus's energy presently is distorted and that's why i have included in activating earth feminine activating venus there's a certain section where you're activating venus but basically this energy of needing to please other people and basically be like a servant for others um and be completely unaware of the self and completely unaware of what it is that you want and if your needs are getting met and if you know you are actually benefiting from your life so the thing the funny thing about this is venus is a mirror venus is a reflection is a reflector and when we're dealing with the energy of libra in relationship to venus it's like if you don't like the way that your light life looks right now if you are waking up every day feeling like you want your life to be different in different aspects then 
there's probably a lot of things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis that don't involve what you actually like, what you actually want. Um, so how, ask yourself, how, how much of my life and my time am I actually giving towards um, me and my desires? And you got to understand that this is not a selfish energy. Selfishness is the detriment of Aries and I'll talk about that in, in, another, in depth in another video but basically someone's being selfish when there's literally when it's like a primal thing going on like basically like if there's only a certain amount of food for everyone to eat and like you literally eat all the food and like basically <laughs> In a, in a situation or a predicament where it's like somebody else is literally well, their well-being is like you, you're not thinking about it at all um, selfishness is bad when it's coming from a place of lack and so that's when selfishness is bad now selfishness and being self synced to the self and being self-serving is natural and that's something that people in today's day and age kind of have been primed to not do and it's like when everybody is around like literally everybody is so when everybody is so focused on doing what's best for another person there's going to be imbalance there will always be imbalance because nobody comes here to do things for other people like nobody comes here to do things for other people people come here to please themselves people come here to live out their life and their mission and their purpose so there's this energy around femininity that has a lot to do with it's like almost like being a slave like and having no real self-awareness of how you don't really love yourself you don't really you know care about yourself and because of that you are um, having these experiences where other people um, continue to be like a thorn in your life. Or if not that, then you could be like in a partnership where you're continuously not being satisfied um, in the ways that you wish that you were or in the ways that would be most optimal for your well-being. You know, so the dark side of Libra and the dark side of the scales is definitely the imbalance of self and getting pretty much losing self in the realm of other people. So you want to make sure that and for people who have a lot of Libra in their chart, especially um, and also seventh house, you want to make sure that you put or you are always making sure that the balance that you're seeking isn't external but it's internal the alignment that you're seeking isn't with everything outside of you but it's with everything inside of you and understanding that there's like this merit that comes with being balanced there's this merit that comes with upholding yourself upholding your um you know what you want in life and basically who you are you upholding who you are and you're bringing that to other people and that is the beauty and the joy and the grace and the you know the pretty much what makes libra such a beautiful sign to be around or to embody is that graciousness that you carry when you know yourself when you love yourself truly love yourself and you can't truly love yourself if you do not value yourself if you don't if you don't feel like you're worthy if you're always feeling like something is wrong with you if you're jealous like there's so many different things that can go on with this energy um but i'm going i'm breaking this down in depth um today in my sacred soul academy i'm so i'm breaking all of this down 
in way, way deeper depth in the Sacred Soul Academy, Activating Earth Feminine. So if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can catch that video. And yeah, stop people pleasing, being balanced and having partnerships and having relationships has nothing to do with, you know, compromising yourself but it has everything to do with upholding what it is that you value your truth and being able to bring that to other people bring being able to carry that with you wherever you go and it's also has a lot to do with you know owning your truth and owning who it is that you are and knowing that that is good enough so like you never want to also, the another dark side of Libra is you never want to do things so that you can get something out of it. So see, this is where Libra can, Libra's dark side can kind of be similar to Capricorn's, you know, um, basically like a means to an end. But for Libra, it's a little bit different than Capricorn. Capricorn is going to literally not care about how they do things to get things whereas Libra is not going to care about what they compromise for whatever result there it is they're trying to get so like this is maybe like a, their own truth or their own knowing so think about like you know if you've ever watched um you know different shows where somebody might know the truth about something or they might know the right thing to do about something, or they might know um, the real, true balance in a situation, but they won't ever say anything. They won't ever like express it. They won't ever be it because they want to maintain a position. They want to maintain um, a relationship. They want to like maintain something. Um, usually, it's like a relationship or like. I'm also feeling like it's like a political thing too, like hierarchy, like um, you want to be seen as, you know, the popular, the the one that is, you know, oh, I have, I'm friends with so-and-so or, oh, I'm married to so-and-so and, oh, I'm relation, I have relations with this energy. Like this is like the dark side, also the dark side of, this compromise that Libra can get into and it's like like your real self isn't even doesn't even really like this person so that this is like where a Libra can also get super super like fake also you know um and phony and this is also where Libra will start to come off as a liar um because it's not that they want to lie, but it's like they want to keep so much peace and so much balance that you not even doing what you can't like what your whole purpose of being a Libra intended for you to do, which is to bring justice, peace and harmony. And believe me, Venus is not a, a like Earth. OK, Venus is a multi it, Venus is one of the most hottest planets in the universe, like Venus is nothing but volcanoes and molten lava wanting to like pretty much fire up everything that it means. So literally like your whole point of being a Libra or having this Libra energy is to bring justice and peace to situations. But you don't do that by always being, you know, fake. You don't do that like that. You do that by being gracious and and truthful you know and allowing that truth to be uh the the balance the justice the the energy that pretty much keeps everything going the way it's supposed to go <laughs> um so yeah it's really interesting how libra can get into all of those dark places where they're just not even who they really are anymore and I 
urge you know all, everyone who has you know libra energy in their chart to really you know whatever planet that is in look at that planet look at that area and assess whether or not you are uh, bringing your true self into this area when with uh, within within the realms of other people because like i said before it's not about you doing things for other people all the time and like losing yourself but it's about you bringing your realest and truest self to other people and that is the only way that you can ever be of value to anyone um by always being who you are around other people you are of no value whatsoever when you don't tell the truth when you you know hold back what you have to say or hold back your thoughts your real and true thoughts just so you know you can keep the peace and you know it's important to do that it is so anyway i hope you guys like this video make sure you like and subscribe hit the notification bell and yeah check out the links below and i will see you all in the next video peace